Hi everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Pathshala. This is Norris. Today I will discuss this problem which came in CHR UGC net December 2023 in part B. This question from calculus of variation. Let's see the question. The cardinality of the set of extremals of this integral subject to this condition is there four condition. We have to find the correct one. Basically, first we have to find the extremal of this given extreme given integral subject to this condition. Then we have to calculate how many extremal exist for this integral subject to this condition. How many extremal exist? Okay, this problem is called isoperimetric problem. Isoperimetric problem. To solve this problem, let f equal to y dash square and z equal to y. So now we have to find the extremal of k y, where k y equal to 0 to 1 f plus lambda z dx, where lambda is called Lagrange multiplier. So basically now we have to find the extremal of ky with subject to this condition which will equal to the extremal of the given problem. So for this let h equal to this one. So h equal to a plus lambda z. So h will becomes y dash square plus lambda into y. So h will becomes y dash square plus lambda into y. So by Euler Lagrange method, we will get del h del y minus d d x of del h del y dash equal to 0 it will give del h del y means lambda minus dd minus ddx of del h del y dash means 2y dash equal to 0 it will give lambda minus 2y double dash equal to 0 so we will get y double dash equal to lambda by 2 Okay, now indicating both sides we will get y dash equal to lambda by 2 into x plus a where a is arbitrary constant. Again indicating both sides we will get y x equal to lambda x square by 4 plus a x plus b. So we, we, we get the we get the extremal of the given integral that is y x equal to lambda x square y 4 plus a x plus b. Now we have to get the value of lambda a and b using this condition. Okay. So, so y 0 equal to 1 will give what we get y x y x equal to lambda x square by 4 plus a x plus b. So lambda by 4 into 0 square plus a into 0 plus b equal to 1 so from this we get b equal to 1 now y1 equal to 6 from this we get lambda by 4 into 1 square plus a into 1 plus b means 1 equal to 6 so basically we get lambda by 4 plus a equal to 6 minus 1 so 5 so we get lambda by 4 plus a equal to 5 take it as 1 now from the integration 0 to 1 y dx equal to 3 we will get integration 0 to 1 y dx means lambda by 4 into x square plus a x plus b means 1 dx equal to 3 
by integrating we will get lambda x cube by 12 plus a x square by 2 plus x 0 to 1 equal to 3 by putting the limit we will get lambda by 12 a by 2 plus 1 equal to 3 it you will give lambda plus by 12 plus a by 2 equal to 2 from this we get lambda by 6 plus a equal to 4 just multiplying 2 in both sides we get lambda by 6 plus a equal to 4 so we take it as 2 now doing 1 minus 2 what we get this uh, this uh, will cross off so lambda by 4 minus lambda by 6 will be 5 minus 4 1 so lambda by 12 equal to 1 that means lambda equal to 12 so putting lambda equal to 12 in the in this equation we will get 2 plus a equal to 4 so a equal to 4 minus 2 that is 2 so what we get lambda equal to 12 a equal to 2 and b equal to 1 so the extremal will becomes y x equal to lambda by 4 means 12 by 4 so 3 x square plus 2 x plus 1 so the extremal becomes 3 x square plus 2 x plus 1 which is unique so we get unique extremal we get unique extremal y x equal to 3 x square plus 2 x plus 1 so this extremal is unique so so the cardinality of the set of extremal should be 1 so option 2 should be true and other option should be false thank you for watching this video thank you very much